Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast episode 690. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gast, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Fonsad. Yo, yo. And Tony Korkanakis. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, guys. Welcome, listeners and viewers. We are live on Twitch Tuesday nights starting at 8 o'clock. Please join us for these broadcasts. Uh, uh, we like to have conversations. We'll, we'll you know, try to answer some questions as we go. We have topics, obviously, that we get into, but we'd like to have you know conversations with you guys, mention you guys on the air if you, if you may leave us a comment. Uh, all the stuff, you don't get these live broadcasts, though, is over on YouTube. That's probably the best place to find all the old content because that's the only place it really is. Um, so you go on over there, subscribe, hit that like button if you're watching that on here. Uh, we appreciate it, guys. It helps. Uh, thanks a lot. 690, guys. So this episode, um, we're going to have some fun. Uh, we're going to do talk uh, <laughs> worst worst TV and movie endings that we can think of. Uh, like, what are the worst you guys think of? Mm. Um, we're going to do the same thing on the games, if you guys get a little preview of the game cast coming up. So uh, stay tuned for all of that. And, you know, we have a little bit of news to go into a little bit. And uh, what we've been watching, I have – Nothing to add yet because I did not play. Sh I did not play. Did not watch Shogun today. Uh, I've been playing, you know, like uh, Infinite Wealth like crazy because I said last week I was going to finish that game, uh, mm -hmm. and I and I did finish that game this afternoon. So mm -hmm. stay tuned for the game cast. Um, I put a lot of hours in last week for the game, uh, so stay tuned for that. But I didn't get to watch too much really, so nothing of note. That's it for me. Um, Tony, anything for you? Uh, yeah, I started up uh, the One Piece. Uh, live action. Oh, Netflix. cool. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I'm two episodes in. It's actually pretty good. Um, I think they do a really good job. Um, again with the main cast, uh, the trio. Mm -hmm. Uh, I th I think they're all really cast well. They all have a lot of um, personality to them. Um, mm -hmm. and I think probably their delivery is way better than something. Um, just comparing it to like Avatar because that was recent. Um, uh, but they're older, so you know, I kind of expect that compared to like Aang say for example but uh, special effects are good mm -hmm. story is good seems to be a good solid adaptation uh, of what I know of the beginning of the story and stuff like that so uh, pretty happy and excited you know it's already renewed for season 2 so it's not like I'm like oh I'm not going to get any payoff yep. who knows yeah who knows uh, yeah Netflix it looks like they're getting less uh, they get more lenient at least on, on animes uh, animate to live action because like you know we have the Avatar for two seasons renewed this is renewed, mm -hmm. uh, so maybe. Um, and, I mean, their numbers I think to hit are pretty high usually for renewals and things. But I feel like maybe they've maybe reduced them, or at least these these shows did that well. But who knows? Um, but uh, it's good to, good to hear they're getting a second season, so that's cool. Anything else? That's it. All right, Mike. No. <laughs> Corey. Uh, no, I've been also trying to get game Ooh. time in so just uh, a couple anime here and there as usual but nothing too new or exciting okay all right box office uh let's see kung fu panda took number one uh which was great uh for that and uh, 30 million dollars dune part two is still doing excellent had a 38 percent drop at 28 and a half million um so that's on pace for a very good strong box office a strong box office obviously we're talking like you know, worldwide, what, 750 million maybe it might make, 700? Um, but uh, considering the budget, I guess that's good. Uh, their budget was high, but every movie budget is high these days. So yeah. it, it it is deemed a success. We are getting Dune Messiah. Uh, so, you know, I, every, it's all but been confirmed by the studio, but mm -hmm. most everybody working on it has mentioned it. So, uh, you know, look forward to that. That's really cool. But that's about it. Uh, nothing really on the on the uh, movie side, uh, you know, coming out, right? Is there what's next week? Anything big? What's next week? No. Oh, yeah. Quiet times. Quiet times. Quiet times. That's okay though. That's okay. Quiet times before May, hopefully. All right. Uh, let's get into some news though before we get into our topic of the night. So let's talk about uh, a couple things that happened this week. Uh, I think the most bizarre news I've heard this week is randall park and elijah wood are playing red and green in an among us series they're making a series from among us mm -hmm. um i did not i don't for some reason i guess it's the low it, you it's so popular you want to make an adaptation of it but i just never saw it happening but uh here mm -hmm. it is here it is so yeah oh, who done it johnson ashley johnson yeah mm -hmm. yep yeah. so i 
it's one of those I never saw happening, but it, it's it's happening apparently. They're casting, and uh, Elijah Wood's massively excited for it. Clearly, yeah, gaming nerd that he is. His own personal account, which you know, good for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm curious to see where they they head with this because it's definitely a very popular, you know, video game, and it did really well during the COVID times and. And here we are with uh, like talking. We keep talking about expanding your IP and and getting it more types of media and stuff. And there's yeah. you know an avenue here where this could be pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, um, cool. Uh, other news we've got. Uh, I guess, and I I'm I'm in this category. Uh, a new study came out uh, showing that two thirds of U.S. adults prefer watching movies on streaming rather than in the theaters. Um, new new poll. Uh, obviously, uh, I can see that being very accurate. I, I mean, just conversations I've had with friends. Uh, nobody likes going to the theaters much anymore. I mean, there's there's the events you want to go to those events, right? Corey and I, we're, we've talked. I think we talked about this podcast, right? Like, like there is the must see movies, and then there's just like, okay, I'll wait for that to come out, stream it, right? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, mean, that's it's it's cost to like what you expect a movie's gonna provide, right? So like, <clears throat> I would much rather go to see a movie in the theater if I think that movie is worth it's, my money and worth the time and, and the spectacle of a theater experience, like, sure. um, I don't know what's doom. Well, yeah. But like dodgeball, right. Dodgeball is oh, dodgeball. Out a sequel. Yeah. I don't necessarily care. To, I need to see that in the theater. Right. But yeah, yeah. Something bigger, well, like a Marvel movie. I would like to see in the theater. I mean, I'd prefer to see a Marvel movie in the theater. I will tell you, Corey, you can see Madam web at home now on Amazon. Yeah. It's oh, down. There you go. <laughs> Maybe not a Sony movie. Marvel movie. Not a Sony I, Marvel no, movie. I think, uh, I think it's just more selective. It, like you said, it's just – I'm more selective mm -hmm. in my older ages now just because it's like it's – it's kind of a time sink to go to the theaters. Uh, the control of not being able to pause it when you have to get up and use the restroom. Uh, the, the price of concessions. Um, there's – you know, the audience sometimes can be a problem. And this has always been that issue, the audience and using the movie if you have an audience problems. Sometimes you don't, obviously. But it can be. It's it's a wild card. Um, you know, I do like – I like – you know, we have, everybody in their house, almost everybody has a large big screen TV. Am I – like, you know what I mean? Like most families have a large TV. Like my brother-in-law has like an 85-inch in his freaking living room right now. So it's I like – I in the minor minority here because I, I would prefer to see a movie in the theater. I, I, I like the audience experience. It's two, like, two thirds, two thirds, Corey. So like you're, you can still see the Godzilla minus one in the theater with the audience there. That is awesome. Yeah, I mean, I'm, there's I'm, events. There's events. I'm Go ahead, with you on the a part of like, if it's a movie I'm, I'm really excited to see, right? Mm -hmm. Then I definitely want that movie experience, right? Because seeing it on the the big screen with, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Dolby or whatever it is, surround sound, you know, you're shaking your seat kind of thing. That's awesome, right? I'm not going to get that same experience in my, you know, home. So no, yeah. no. But I've heard that either. I would yeah. say the problem these days is the number of movies that warrants that is not mm -hmm. high these days, right? Um, so what was like the last? Yeah, Godzilla minus one was the last movie I saw in theaters, and I'm trying to think of the one before that. Probably the Marvels. Spider Man, you didn't see in the theater? Uh, was, across Spider Verse? Was, no, Spider -Verse? I did. Was that was it after Marvels? Oh mm, no, that was before. No, that was before. Yeah, and oh, Spider Verse, Guardians, and D and D. I think was yeah, the I, I saw. And you know what's fun about D and D is I do kind of wish I saw that one in the theaters. It, you know, I you don't know obviously yeah, you how don't it's going to be. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, but that's what but, it, it's kind of like to my point, right? Like if you don't know, like if you're on the fence, like ah, this could be good, but this is going to also be bad. It's yeah. like the 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 wait is just so mm -hmm. short these days. Because like back in the day, right? right when I'm thinking when we were, you know, young adults, circa 2001-ish, you know, we're all old, uh, that era, like, you had to wait a long time. You had to wait, yeah. you know, at least six months, usually, I think, mm -hmm. closer to nine for home releases. Um, you know, and then, and then you really also you had, them. also, I was going to say, then you had to make sure you got it, like, the rental before everyone yes, else, they got exactly. them, because you had to, like, it's like they would uh, they'd get them all out, too, yeah. so there was that fear of not being able to actually rent the movie because yep. there's a vhs or whatever <laughs> so it's, there's yeah. definitely that going on there was no streaming or anything so you couldn't just like oh yeah on demand here we go just rent this movie for five bucks or not mm -hmm. yeah exactly. yeah so all right um, uh, for me Mike? i'm i'm the opposite obviously um, yeah it's the theater experience it, it isn't even just inherently like better it's just 
it's what will like sort of make me want to watch a movie you know like just making it more of an event going out getting your food there getting dinner with it meeting up with people seeing it going out just doing something like that's it's like yeah i'd i'd give a movie that maybe i'd be on the fence with more of a chance like that's how th- i did that all the time in high school i there were bunch of movies i wasn't particularly interested in seeing just for the event of going out to see a movie i'm home i have other things better things to do so <laughs> it's just the opposite for me um I mean, I would argue Obviously. you're talking more about a social experience. Plus, at that age, like, what are you supposed to be doing in high school? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Times, yeah. times change, and right. like now, you have so many other options. Sure. And like, at that, at sure, those times, I too. have so many options at home too, and I, I'm not very interested in just spending, you know, two and a half hours. Well, what I'm saying is, like, basically, you know, the, where you are in your life, and then what technology has been offering us is changing things but like i said i'm i would like to go to a theater like i like the theater experience i mean i just haven't too much expensive. lately I, I can't but yeah right. uh, yeah, I, I think good that's where how you are i prefer to stuff. watch movies but yeah it's just yeah. so expensive now though that's the problem it is yeah so all right uh let's see bill Hader. Bill Hader has been cast in The Cat in the Hat, an animated movie coming to us. Um, excited, actually. Yeah. He did yeah. a Cat in the Hat skit on SNL, too. Yeah, he did, actually. You're right. Uh, but listen, they did a great job. The last an- I hope it's the same animation studio did, that did The Grinch, because The Grinch right. was actually really well done. I thought it was a very good animated film uh, that they did uh, recently. Um, and I forget who did that voice, actually. Uh, it's a major actor. Is it Benedict Cumberbatch? Yeah, I think it was um anyways so i, I just like but bill hater for some reason i have that after seeing the barry and stuff like that i just i think it works i don't know why it's like kind of that humor it's good like, i think he's gonna be very good at that role i just like obviously like Corey said we've seen a skit with it already but uh, mm-hmm. i think it as long as he plays it pretty similar obviously it's gonna be a kid's movie so you have to not be that great but you know what i mean uh so it as is long as the cumberbatch it was okay as long as there's a good mix of uh jokes that adults can get you know mixed with the kids stuff it's always a good good time for everybody so hopefully it works out great uh let's Are you see what else for this or like yeah that? i am okay. i because I, like, I, I just said it about this? Okay. because i because i'm excited for it because i i just said like i really enjoyed the grinch that's what we were just talking about and i'm like and i like bill Hader. i'm like so i'm like actually pretty excited about this okay I was um just yeah i just was watching oh that's what i did watch i watched the dr seuss baking championships on amazon i was watching that uh i've been home you know yeah it's just something to put on it's, it's cool they do like cakes out of ca- characters it's it's cool i like it's it cool? it's cool it's i like it it's interesting no, okay that's interesting. fine you can like something call it cool i don't i don't know if i could agree with that one i think it's pretty awesome what they can do so i think it's no, cool. that's right i think it's cool yeah, sure all right <laughs> you <laughs> you take from that. yeah i can't you can't so all right uh let's see let's talk about let's talk about x-men 97 creator david uh bo de mayo last week you talked about how you got terminated pretty much the day of our podcast i think last week with no explanation uh we obviously didn't think it was good news considering nothing based on the show whatsoever i think we're looking we were talking about that uh but it didn't look good for him uh we have a little bit of news that you know just you know people talking about it but uh, it was apparent an absolute nightmare to deal with on a daily basis from people talking about it and apparently disney found a a problem with his only fans i didn't even know he had an only fans um so they had a problem with that it's all weird we're still missing information i'm sure but um... yeah because, you know, some people are like, oh, he was great. And then uh, other people are like, oh, he was a nightmare. And then it's like, it's only fans. It's like not explicit. And they knew about it going in. And yeah. The other thing is like, but it was also creepy. So I don't know what's going on, but it's kind of weird that this dude has like Jim selfie only fans. But, you know, whatever. I, I don't I don't really think that matters that much as far as him doing this job. But something was creepy about it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All He's also weird. apparently I, I he was think not. We're missing a bit of information still. Yeah, apparently he was not uh, great to work with. So I mean, I'm not gonna believe um, any of this stuff, person. right? Because like, yeah. I I post back to back two conflicting stories where one was like, yeah, you know, I wouldn't say it was a it was a Marvel exec or a person that said, I don't know if I would call it firing. This is a parting of ways, right? Because like I could see that being, you know, kind of in line, right? It's like you work on a show, uh, you know, you. You finished it, right? Season one is done. Mm-hmm. Who knows if it's going to be renewed for a season two or anything like that? I mean, 
do you need to be there? If like it's like okay, I did what I need, uh, what my job was to do, and then you know I moved on. So I got. I do think it's weird how he can lead all on social media presence. To me, that indicates something different happened or something ancillary to the job. But I mean, whatever. I'm not really gonna speculate. I don't really care for this dude one way or another. Like you know, he's just a name to me. Like whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if he was yeah. wrong, then great. Like okay, yeah. If it's like oh they yep. They fired me because I annoyed him. I'd be like, yeah, fuck you, Disney. Like, whatever. It's kind of weird. But, you know, if you did something problematic on set, be like, yeah, fuck you, dude. You know, dealt with the earth, hit you on the way out. Whatever. I don't care. Yep. I'm not going to lose sleep either way. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, let's see. The, uh, Jim, did you catch the latest uh, trailer they showed for that? Uh, no. No, I didn't yet. So, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, so. The, late, the latest trailer shows a little stuff with Magneva that I think you would appreciate. So yeah, I'm looking forward to what I've. Well, you're gonna watch it, I'm sure. So. Yeah, of course, of course. I almost was yeah. trying to. Uh, I was almost trying to um, watch the other episodes, the older ones, but I'm like, it's too late now. I can't start the show and then make yeah. make it. So, all right. all right. Last bit of the news we've got, and then we can move on to our topic is Aaron Taylor Johnson. Uh, most this picked up by everybody uh, has been report reportedly offered the role of James Bond. Cool. Yeah, going even guess. younger <laughs> yep they've also yep. sort of you know they have not confirmed this yet either no but it's just every site picked this up like it's been everywhere yeah. it's too it's too he much feels, yeah he, f he feels young to me but he's also 33 that's not young young i guess but he feels young but it's mm -hmm. all right yeah. i guess i, I he was I great in the bullet train as that kind of suave guy in a way suave yeah. We'll see, I don't know. Yeah. I think I, I think it'd be I, I think it'd be good in that role. I, I don't know. I, I it's we need another kind of James Bond, and I feel like he can bring us back to a, the old, like a little slower style. Uh, we'll say slower style. I mean, he's gonna you be more I mean, action packed like style. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> less less born. Should be more, yeah. more less born. More yeah. Less born. More Connery. You know style. Yeah, it's gonna be more Mission so. Impossible. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So, all right, let's move into our topic that we talked about. Uh, so this is like, we were thinking like, how much fun would it be to talk about uh, shows that just, shows and movies that just had such a, such a bad ending. And, uh, you know, when I was doing this myself, I was talking to Mike before uh, we started the stream. What's up? No, yeah. Like, ugh. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. It's I was, that it, bad mindset. It Here was tough to, it was tough to come up. I knew there was tons, but it was tough for me to start putting them to paper like until I started, once I started, I'm like, oh, this, this, you know, I was like, I just rattled them off, uh, you know. So I was, um, you know, it was it was an interesting list. You guys want to just go movies first here, and yeah. these are no, you guys didn't do any order, right? I didn't do any specific order. I just said bad movies. Uh, okay, so my my, <laughs> just to kick it off, I'm going with the village. Um, I mean, village is on my list too. Yeah, and we saw that in the theater, and we both called. It's like, is this blazing yeah. saddles? <laughs> five five minutes in. I, I was like, I leaned over and I'm like, this is going to be present day. Oh, by the way, there will be spoilers here if you guys were. Just to, yeah. we have to talk about spoilers. I mean, if you're talking um, about endings, this, I think yeah. that's implied. But yes, spoiler yeah. alert ahead for any movie that gets I, talked about. I, guess, I mean, listen, if I spoiled The Village, I saved you. But yeah. go on. I guess it's honorary on my list because literally I think it was Ian and Zach when that movie came out was calling all our friend group and said, do not go see this in theaters. Do not go see this movie. You will waste your time and your money. Okay. And I was just like, okay, man. Like, sure, like you're the, if you're that passionate that you're trying to warn me to not waste my time and money, then I will, I will listen to you. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. We did that. We did that campaign for Sucker Punch. Like the yeah. thing about Sucker, Sucker Punch did not make my list because it's, it's just a terrible movie. Like forget the ending, but the, the whole movie's bad. So I'm not going to put that on my list. Uh, but we did that campaign for Sucker Punch. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's one of mine. And Corey gave one. Uh, Tony, Tony, give me one of yours. Uh, we're on movie or shows. Or just movies? doing movies. 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 Well, the problem is like real quick though. Just I just want to say oh, really, on, one of the reasons is so bad. It's not even that it's present day. Like, okay, sure, you want to have a twist. Like that's his whole thing. M Night Shyamalan's thing. It's like, oh, there's a twist to these different movies because that's my thing with Sixth Sense. Obviously, there's a twist there. But now that's your thing. So now everybody's expecting, expecting it, yeah. expecting it, and then the twist is. These people are just basically holding hostage these these com these community of people that are unaware that they live in present time. And there's a, there's moments where these people need health care and they yeah. can't get it because they think they don't have the technology for it. Like what? <laughs> this is that that's just ridiculous. 
Yeah. Uh, so that that's one of the reasons it's such a bad ending. Like you could have done something more interesting with it. Like, oh yeah, it's present day, but why are we like make it interesting instead of just like yeah, we just want to scare people and thinking like technology's bad, so let's keep them in the yeah, you know, before uh, times. It's like what the fuck. Definitely. <laughs> so all right, Tony, what was one of yours? Uh, let's see. I'll start off mild. So I'm gonna name Amazing Spider-Man two. Mm. Now I wouldn't say oh. it's like egregious in terms of like bad and it's like i don't think most people would say it was bad ending it's like i don't think it, that's like very like oh you know like yeah everybody just agrees it's a bad ending but for me personally i thought it was a bad ending because it does two things which are just stupid right one is where um obviously they like threaten or tease like a big fight between uh spider-man and rhino right where you're like why are you stopping i if, if you show me that i want to see that now right like is yeah. kind of weird right and it just cuts to black yeah right yeah but the other thing is more of like the i guess like uh how it related to uh andrew garfield spider-man because as you remember i wasn't really a fan of him as peter parker right i thought he did a good job with the clips in spider-man right so again we're spoiling this so sorry if you have not seen amazing spider-man 2 right um but just you're gonna get a chance to see in the theater soon too by the way <laughs> But yeah, it's just so awful the way like it ended with you know, Gwen and uh, even even harking back to like kind of why I wanted to throw the first one here in a mix too, where it's just like the hero doesn't learn his lesson, right? Where it's like in the in the end of the first movie, uh, Captain Stacy as he's dying is like just leave my daughter alone, right? And he's like, okay, I promise. But then he goes, but promises were meant to be broken, and it's like. No shit, right? Like, no fucking shit. Uh, like, you're going to do this. And he winds up, you know, with the whole, like, uh, what was it? There's a clock tower? Where he's, like, shooting down the web to, like, yeah. catch her. But, like, the web, you know, does the, the awful thing where it, like, looks like it's a hand reaching out for him. Just, like, just took me out. And I was like, I already yeah. knew what was going to happen. But I was like, this is fucking dumb yeah. and bad. Yeah. I think it was stupid that they forced, like, the comic book parts of yeah. this sequence here yeah absolutely. Uh, i mean i everyone expected that to happen i don't know to me uh i wouldn't list it because for the ending to be bad at least like movie or previous movies in the same franchise it had to be good in my opinion yeah i mean that's it's like a drop off that's kind of how i feel about it so i didn't think that amazing anything was good so okay well, might mm -hmm. give me one what do you got um, well, I, I'm, I'm going for the bottom of the barrel one. I did the worst one. The, my least interesting choice was what some people might consider the definitive answer to this, and that would be Citizen Kane. Well, you went, you went low-hanging fruit is what you did, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. Citizen yeah. Kane, um, many people consider it the greatest movie of all time. Um, but its premise is sort of like, oh, why did he say Rosebud? When he died this this guy this, this cane citizen cane if you will and then <laughs> you have this whole movie about his whole life where he basically becomes a power hungry like newspaper tycoon and you find out rosebud is just like a sled, sled yeah. that he remembers when he was a kid yep that's, yep. that's the movie no need to watch it now <laughs> all right you're welcome all right, I'll give us another one here. Um, I'm gonna go with another. I'm gonna go with another M Night Shyamalan movie. Uh, he, easy. Only, easy. Yeah, easy ones. Is it, um, let me call. Let me call it signs or no, no. Oh, newer, newer. No, I went with Glass. The... Glass. Yep. Wow. I just. I did not. Guy? I did not like the ending of that movie. Like I just was. Um, I was so excited for that that movie to come out finally because of the surprise of the you know. Um, Oh my God! Why am I blanking on the second one? You know, you have Unbreakable. You have the the zoo one with the with what's his name? What's the other one? What's the one in between? Oh yeah, heck. That's the one that was awesome. Mm -hmm. oh my God, I'm drawing a blank on. It. Oh my God, now it's gonna bother me. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, this was like the finale, and I was like so excited for this movie, and I went to the theaters and watched it, and um, I just felt like where they went with the story was just. I, I just I hated the entire direction oh, and gotcha. everything, and so like I I liked the beginning. It was so much fun, and about halfway through that movie, it just I knew where they were heading for this, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't even think I uh, saw that one because you, you said it was bad. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, Corey, I'm gonna have to go with Jurassic Park. 
uh, Lost World, was it? Is that the I, I thought you were going to stop one? at Jurassic Park at first. I was like, wait a minute. The second <laughs> one. Whatever the second <laughs> one is. Second one. The one with, um... Where they release all the... <laughs> Lost, Lost, Lost World. World. It's the one where Lost they World. bring a T Rex to San Diego, yes. and it gets loose. Like, yep. what? This is That's this is not in the book whatsoever. Like, why is yeah. this happening? Corey, you and I like, were like looking at each other in the theater, like, what the fuck is going, what is going on? on? Yeah, we're just gonna release a T Rex in the middle of a city here, and then let it do its thing. It's again it has nothing to do. with There's not any sequence like this in the the book whatsoever. It's just for the movie, and uh, yeah, it's just know. like why. I don't really remember That's much so of it. I, about I that. think I saw it. It was such like... because it was it just turned into this terrible like kaiju movie that it wasn't meant to be like it was a, a city attack kaiju movie at that point. And you're okay. just like, where did this happen? You're on a tropical island and then it just ended up in the city and it just it didn't flow properly with yeah, the story whatsoever. Yeah. But like also yeah. like, let's be honest. And maybe I'm looking at this from a twenty twenty four lens, but if a T Rex got loose in any major US city that thing wouldn't last very long. It would get shot no. to shit. Yeah. You would, yeah, absolutely. But like, my shit is, I'm not even saying, like, police or anything. Like, just averaging and being like, all right, well, I'm just going to fucking shoot this thing. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. I'm just I'm just telling how it is. Yeah. No, no, you're not wrong. All right. All right, Tony, Tony, just give another one here. All right. Well, Corey spoiled it. Uh-oh. But I have to say signs, right? Yeah. The signs. Okay. I split actually was felt... the other one, by the way. Split. <laughs> oh, split. Thank you. Oh, god. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Go on. Go I on. actually felt signs was a good movie, but as soon as you saw the actual alien, the movie yeah. started falling apart. You started seeing the cracks, and they started widening very quickly. But then yeah. the whole like, I don't even Swing remember away. the character or the actor's name. Yeah, where it's Swing like away. you're Swing you're your like girl. a baseball player, and you have to have your like brother tell you to swing away. Like, it's not inherently like, oh, I should grab this weapon because it's hanging on the wall to defend, you know, my home from this fucking alien. So that that whole thing was just awkward and weird and stupid. But then also, like, the reveal, like, oh, yeah, like, uh, we repelled the alien invaders because, lines up, they're weak to water. And it's so like, they chose a planet that they was chose a planet that's mostly like water. 70-something percent Four planet water. Planet planet aliens. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah. damn, like, you... Like, what are you fucking doing? Travel. Like, this, it's not like Pokemon where you can just level up and, like, ignore your weaknesses. Like, you're just, like, that out level. But, like, come on. Like, it's just, yeah. it's just so fucking stupid. It made me be like, this, this movie sucked. Like, completely yeah. changed my entire thing. Mm-hmm. I never want to see that movie ever again. No, Even though I mean, it had I one agree. of the best sequences with that corn cornfield chase. Like, I remember that. Yeah. This thing, yeah. Like, that was amazing. I, I was and like, the fact shit. that, like, the advertisements was really well yeah, done too. Like was. the like the the court maze thing with like because yeah. that was like really popular at the time. Like mm-hmm. that was like oh what, look at these like are these aliens making these like corn like field designs and stuff like that. And then the movie comes out. And it's like oh this is a cool like idea. And then yeah like you said like halfway through the movie even three quarters of the way through the movie like this is kind of cool like how does it all come together yeah. and then it just does like awesome. then it just felt like we're gonna throw these little clues in it's like oh yeah we gotta do this and do that so that way we can all tie it together in this cool like reveal which was not mm. cool at all very war of the worlds and that was just mm. oh oh by the that, way that almost made my list <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah war of the worlds but it should have been up there all right mike give me one um, this might be recency bias, and I've actually talked about this on the podcast a bit, and uh, this might upset some people, but I'm gonna say Across the Spider Verse. Mm. It's it's non-ending, just like pissed me off so much that you just were just it's so abrupt, nothing is resolved, and like four more years, I guess, until we continue this. You know, the rest of Act Two, not even it doesn't even feel like Act Two is over at that point, so. It yeah. just, uh, you know, it's it's mostly a good movie, I would say, but yeah, the ending is just like not an ending. You guys, so that's why it's here. How many more do you guys have? Uh, movies, a couple more. Uh, a couple were mentioned already, but I, I can, I have one. Yeah, more I mean, I have, I was gonna, I have a couple more, but I'm like, I'm probably just, I'm gonna get to TV as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I will, I'm, I'm gonna go a little more controversial here for Mike. Um, I'll leave the flash off of this conversation, but I will say, Man of Steel. Nope, I had a terrible it's on mine. It's on mine. Oh, okay. Boom. Okay. Talk about it, guys. Oh, I mean, I Superman killing Zod. 
I mean, that's just that's oh. it. No, that's exactly it. That's, that's it. all you needed. That's it. I'm done. Huh? Yeah. I'm... Like you're you're <laughs> you're introducing a new character to 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 kick off a new universe that you're you're, you're trying to you know so desperately chase Marvel, and you just end. You're like quintessential Boy Scout, right? Like yeah, just murder. He's the Boy Scout. It's like what the like you couldn't think of any other situation to get out of this. Like what are you talking about? Like so just put his hands in front of his eyes. Yeah, actually, exactly. Yeah, like to this day, I will try to defend how much I liked that movie. And it was a good movie, and I liked Henry Cavill. I've talked about this on the mm-hmm. podcast, but even like in the back of my head, as I discuss this good movie, that's always there, and I'm just like, there's no defense for that <laughs> there's ending. No defense. Uh, mm-hmm. There's no defense. Um, so that's just like, ah, uh, I yeah. didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't, it didn't like completely kill it for me because I mean, like Superman. You know, not not to pull this argument because people do it with Batman too and the Keaton ones, but Superman's like throwing people down cliffs in the Fortress of Solitude and like you know the the Christopher Reeve movie. Well, it's different like, seeing him snap somebody's always, neck. I wouldn't say it's those completely movies different are good, though, either. Like I don't mm-hmm. I don't hold reverence for the fucking old ones. Either. The first one was. I don't. I, I I listen. I like the older ones, but I, you don't physically see him snap somebody's neck. That's a completely different no, Superman right there. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, anyways, that's it. Uh, uh, t- uh, Corey. Corey. Mark. Uh, I'm going to go with I Am Legend. With oh, yeah. Smith. Oh, yeah. That was on my list, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, what a bad ending. Yeah. It changes the <laughs> ending of the book, obviously. It does? Like, completely. And then, and then it, it was so again. bad. Yeah. Like, it was so bad and, 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 and like, non like receptive to the public that they actually went back and like changed it yep. and now the sequel is retconning the ending to be the deleted ending again. that they yeah. <laughs> they needed to actually do so yeah i mean he basically is like oh instead because like, it was i think in the book like he's the monster right he's the yeah. one that's trying to like just hurt like the, the vampires are just doing their thing right yep and then in this one he's like oh we gotta cure the vampires here and like try to save them in this ending instead of trying to just destroy them i don't know it was just they actually Having to go back and like retcon your own ending is like, yeah, that's yeah. just you, you screwed up. <laughs> yep. All right, Tony. Uh, last one for me, but uh, Rise of Skywalker. So okay, good. I mean, thank you. Somebody yeah. mentioned it. That okay. was on my list as well. Well, so good. I'll skip it as well. But... Like I was already so <laughs> done with the new trilogy by the, even before the scene, but the whole like last shot like was this just so bad. A crap sequence, like yeah, a, 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 a fresh sequence. turd on a on a shit sandwich, where it's like, "What's your name, Ray? Ray Skywalker." Yeah, I feel like I feel who like wrote that's what this and who thought I don't they know. were clever for that. I also I also feel like that completely contradicts the movie, but you know whatever. Uh, <laughs> not that there was a co- the, coherent movie, kiss, anyways. But go on. I'm sorry that uh, the, the part where we're just out the kiss. Oh yeah, the kiss yep. too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yep. that. Like that. That was fan fiction. Like I was sitting next to two girls in the theater, the and they like physically were like, "Ugh!" Yeah. Like <laughs> I was just like, "Damn." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how do you redeem this guy? You don't redeem this guy. Like, yeah, there's no coming back. It's not even none. that. It's just they were like forced siblings. It was, it was weird. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But just, yeah, like how do you find attraction with this? Though it's just so weird. I don't yep. know. Mike, do you have another one? Oh, I'm, I'm in a bundle, too. Uh, we have, really, this might not even be the ending, per se, but these were the ending of trilogies, and the whole movies were so bad that it, like, fucked everything up. And I'm going to go with Spider-Man 3. I don't even remember how that movie ends, to be honest. Hmm. And then, I, I, I may have forgotten it. Ends I may have forgotten it. <laughs> so his best friend dying in his arms. <laughs> well, actually, not even yeah. in his arms. It's in um, Mary Jane's arms, but, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. I forgot like that that happened. Sandman. When he said because it was so bad, and and, like yeah, I know Sandman and Venom looking Eric Foreman Venom. Um, And he jumps into whatever portal that the symbiote goes into. Mm. Yeah, and then the uh, the other one would be uh, Matrix Revolutions. Yeah, the new one. No, 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 that's Revolution. Revolutions, yeah. Two thousand three. Oh, I think. Yeah, because that that was the end of the trilogy, and yep. you know the whole mo- the movie barely took place in the Matrix, and you learn the, this whole fight goes on, you realize oh he just could have skipped the whole thing, and that would have been it. Um, yeah. He should have just lost on purpose, and then you know Trinity dies after he like spends like three movies trying to keep her alive, and he 
come as Jesus predictably. And it was just not what I wanted from that yeah, <laughs> universe. I'm glad it made on it got, got on the podcast. That deserves to be here yeah, too. That too. So, yeah. all right, guys, mm-hmm. we're going with some bad TV shows now. Worst endings of TV shows. There's some bad TV shows. You know what's funny is like Game of Thrones. You can put on this list, but I'm not gonna say that one. You know why? Because the show, like the entire last season, was horrible. The last two seasons was bad, uh, and there's so much worse out there. I'm gonna kick it off with Lost. Let's go big. Be there. Let's go big. Mm-hmm. You gotta go big. What a amazing show that you would water cooler talk about it nonstop. You would I mean, what's going to happen? Uh, how are they gonna close all these threads? They just don't. You know that's it. It's you know they were dead the whole time. Maybe. Maybe it's all just a dream. Maybe a dream. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe I don't know. Nothing you watched mattered. Yeah. It, ultimately, the the ending made no sense. It was uh, it was just a horrible, it was just a horrible ending. Like it's just such a bad taste. It's not even the worst ending that I've gotten, and I've got more on my list here, uh, that are worse. But this is an easy one to kick yeah. off. I feel like. It, it yeah. seems like there might be a little problem with J.J. Sure. Abrams. J.J. Abrams end, ending. It sounds like. Yeah. That's we true. saw this like we saw themes with Zack Snyder and uh, M Night Shyamalan in the movies. So yeah, um, Corey, give me one here. Oh, uh, I mean, Lost was also on my list, but I, I'm gonna give a different one here, and I'm not gonna do one because I think Tony's gonna say it. So <laughs> you're gonna say one of mine. I know that, Corey. You know um, so I'm gonna go with Quantum Leap as one of the worst. Okay. Ooh, one of the worst. Yeah, that, worst. That, that was one of mine as well. Um, what I mean, a great, you know what? what a funny ending yeah. though. What a funny yeah. ending. No, it's just like. The, the whole show the premise is cool like the yeah. whole premise of the show is neat and every episode week to week is fun because mm-hmm. like and you're rooting for this guy and then you're like Scott Bakula, man. Scott Bakula. Uh, so he could have just gone home anytime he wanted but then he just doesn't <laughs> okay <laughs> sure yeah, yeah uh... and no no what gets me about this and uh, this was on my list as well and I might bundle in a couple other things from the same time period since we're going a little long I feel like but uh so quantum, the anytime your series finale has to just text to sort of explain everything that's happened like afterwards forever, like that's shit. Mm-hmm. And I think Quantum Leap even had a typo in that as well. Well, yes, yeah, probably. Text. He was so Sam pissed to write that. Yeah, the, the creator. Returned. Yeah, the creator was so pissed to get canceled that he wrote that. Yeah. So, so I will also I will see that and raise you two more '90s finales that did something similar. Uh, Roseanne. Mm-hmm. Which they had to retcon because multiple they, times I think like, yeah because originally they're just like oh yeah like Dan is dead by the way since this this is my book that didn't even happen so they retcon that and then also I would say something similar with a uh, Wonder Years dad dies off screen at the end in the post like you know credit description it's like what why would you do that I hate when you have to describe everything like written out that makes your finale just seem like it's shit yeah. So, all right, uh, Tony. Yeah, Tony. Uh, one honorary mention because uh, I haven't seen it is Battlestar Galactica because I believe both of it. you have told me to it's not watch the last season. Yeah, That's I was gonna put it on. I was gonna say that I didn't uh, say because... we didn't say it yet because we were holding on to that one I think. But uh, Battlestar Galactica is probably my least favorite finale of it. This, well, maybe. Is my, this thing, my I've not seen it. I have no idea what happens. Good. Zero. It's, you're good. That's that's the way that that's if, the life you should be living. If if you you know what I did tell you, you could watch the first hour of that finale and turn it off. Just <laughs> I, I do that. If you're gonna do it, turn it off after that. Well, I don't think ending. I watched the last season at all. Like I oh, think okay. I got to the the last the last season was fine, but and the finale started off. So the first okay. half was very good. And, and there's, there's an ending. There's, like we're like, oh, this is the ending. There's and an then ending. we're like, no, it's still going. Yeah, and then there's the last hour is just garbage. Like just. <laughs> garbage it just ruined yeah. it, like that's the thing yeah. is like when you have a show and like an ending that can destroy the rest of the show that's yeah. like that just makes it so much more worse yeah absolutely absolutely so i mean that that's like my least favorite ending for a show i yeah. think mm-hmm. looking at my list and that's the first but... thing that was written down for me I yeah knew, i mean Tony, you were gonna say it because we were telling you not to watch it like the whole time yeah it was um it's it, you know i came up with it towards the end because you know Seinfeld is another one. Mm-hmm. That's Seinfeld. on my list. All right, I figured that would be Mike. Go ahead, you can talk yeah. about that yeah. one. It's on my list. It's it's not even bad, but it just it's bad. doesn't feel fun. As fun as the rest of the series, and it comes dangerously close to moralizing, which they never wanted to do on that show. But it's it 
it's almost like they wanted to say it's like yeah these this main cast of characters are bad people but really everyone around them also sucks and like <laughs> it's kind of irritating really to see all of these supporting characters very skewed perspectives on you know the main cast the being like, oh, they're terrible people because of this, but you know, they were all assholes too. Yeah. And uh, you, you do sort of relate, like, the main characters of Seinfeld are sort of like everyone's id, or you know, like everyone's sort of like, maybe it's the ego, maybe I'm backwards. Every, <laughs> basically, they're like, you know, more um, impulsive versions of like how normal people are, and, you know, social interactions and like how you really feel about like certain things, and you know, they're rude, obviously. And, sort of bad but it just felt like this weird sort of preachy like too fancy way to try to end that series when they were real good at just being funny for the sake of being funny the entire run until that point yeah yep all right uh cory do you have another one well i mean you said it before but game of thrones i have to say is like okay like because that show like, up until that point when they ran out of material from the actual author yeah and they just started making stuff up it's like they just was horrible so like I, you gotta show say game I of mean, thrones like, yeah, so i yeah, agree with you i mean like the thing is like uh what are their names fucking um uh the, the yeah initial, david like, david yeah, something yeah david and, yeah uh, web <laughs> i don't know whatever. Yeah. yeah whatever they both fucking suck oh they're both out of jobs right now um because <clears> they you know they they signed on to do that star wars project and i think it got, got canceled. Or it got canceled. Yeah. yeah. But it's like you, you bum rush this fucking last two seasons, right? Because they have to make up mm -hmm. new source mater new material because there's no source right. material, right? And even though HBO gave them like, hey, we can do another season. You need another season. We can do another season. Yeah, like, good no. more episodes. No, we're gonna condense this into half a season. Yeah, and it's like, like okay, well, I mean, if you guys want to leave, that's cool. Like, we can get somebody. And they're like, no, we want to end it. It's like, okay, so you're being just completely fucking selfish here. You're jerks. Yeah, jerks. And, and you're not even doing something good with it. You're ruining it. You're, like, mm -hmm. literally ruining this fucking series. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, like, I, I can blame them for that part. But I also have to blame uh, G.R.R. Martin for just... Because he, he gave them, like, hey, this is how I want this series to end. Like, this is it. And it's, like, a big fucking nothing burger. Because, like, when Tyrion Lannister is, like, convincing the, the King's Mood or whatever like that, it's like, oh, who has a better story than Bran? And I'm like, What? Like literally anybody else here, like anybody, like yeah, like you know, um, Jon Snow, Sansa yeah. has a better story. You have a better story. Brienne has a better story. Like he got fucking pushed out of a fucking tower and then dragged around the north for a bit. That's boring as fuck, dude. What are you talking about? Yeah, it is. And like yeah. that's exactly what I've said to his fucking face. Been like, what are you fucking talking yeah. about, dude? No, I mean, freaking Jon Snow was Night Watch commander. He was with the. The outside, the, what the heck were they called? Freaking Night Watch. No well, Night Watch, but the people beyond the oh, wall. Oh, the the Northern Folk, I think, or the Free Folk. I forget what they're. Yeah, Free Folk or something. Yeah, yeah, it's like he was with them for a while. He's like, he's a bastard of like a lore. It's like there's so, so much more to go with this guy. Like he's done a lot. And yeah, I don't know. You're right. Yeah. This is oh, this guy's in a wheelchair and he got carried around. Yeah. Uh, all right, Mike. Um. Okay. There's one I was oh, debating I if I was going to include. Go on. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. I was, I was debating if I was going to include this, um, but I think I will. Um, it'll be about 20 years now, and this is a finale that I disliked at first, came to like it, and now I'm going and swinging back around to disliking it a little bit, and that is the ending of Angel. Oh. oh. Um, fans of the show will say it's good, uh, and, it's not, and the last episode itself isn't bad, but the last arc is bad, I think. Um, and I think part of it is, you know, there's a time where if Joss Whedon wrote it, it means it must be good. But the sheen has come off of that a bit. And now we can sort of, I feel like we can go back and more objectively look at some of the things he did, and even creatively, and be like, eh. <laughs> so uh, I think the finale of the show was obviously rushed because they got surprised by the cancellation. You feel it with the last arc. And I think Angel is written a little bit out of character because... Joss Whedon doesn't know how to write heroes, which he admitted himself. So <laughs> I'm, I'm back down on that ending, even though I, I spent years saying it was good, but yeah. now I don't like it anymore. All right, Tony? Uh, let me see. Um, How I Met Your Mother. 
This is well, the one that started it all. I heard the, I heard the number, <laughs> yeah, the number one thing. Yeah, go on. Because, like, honestly, that was such a good <clears throat> show. Um, especially the first couple seasons, right? Like, most, most things. This is, like, you're, like, watching this, and it's like, damn, this is good TV. Like, this is highly, highly, highly enjoyable. Like, the writing is clever. Like, the way they, like, tie things in, you're like, oh, wow, okay. I never would have guessed that, right? But then the last fucking season of this show, right, like, is a, all about one day of a wedding where um, Barney and... Um, uh, Robin, Robin Smulders, Robin. what's her name? Oh, Robin, Robin. Yeah. that's it. Yeah, Robin. Robin. Where Barney and Robin are supposed to get married, right? So the whole last season is about the wedding day, and it's just like really awkward way to do that. And then they get married, but then like the whole like, or do they get? Married? I don't even remember. But the kicker is like, as the the dad who's um fucking what's his name? Um, Bob Saget. Yeah, well, Bob Saget or is the, playing the actor. His, uh, what the character name? The, the character's name is I forget, but he's like, and that's how you know, like whatever, because like the whole, the whole, the whole premise of the fucking show is how I met your mother. So then they introduce the mom, and then it's like, oh, and then she died after I had you kids, and that's how I met your mother. And then the kids are just like, oh, but you're you're in love with Aunt Robin, and he's like, what? No, no, I'm not. And they're like, uh, yeah, you clearly are, Dad. And he's like, oh, I guess I am. And the kids are like, go get her, Dad. And he goes after Robin after, like, the whole, like, two-thirds uh, of the middle and end of the series is like, yeah, they're not good together. They shouldn't be together. She's a much better fit for um, Barney. And it's like, what a fucking stupid way, like, Just kidding. to end a show. Like, yeah. that, on the level of Game of Thrones for me. On the level. Like, it's just, How why did I, I watch this fucking your movie? Aunt Robin. Yeah, <laughs> who's now going <laughs> to be your stepmom. <laughs> Yeah. The other thing that's weird about that is, like, I thought when I, like, when the first part of that was, like, revealed, I'm like, oh, so this must be, like, after her funeral or her funeral or something. And it's like, this is why he's talking about how he met, you know, their mother for so long. But no, it's way later so he can be, like, long enough time so he can, like, go chase Aunt Robin as, like, a, I don't know, 55-year-old. I don't know how old they're supposed to be at that point. It's weird. Yeah. It's tough because like the whole premise of the show is about the ending and like how do you fill that after all this time like to make it satisfying. That's what Lost was. Yeah, same thing with Lost yeah. and Battlestar for me. Um, I, I mean, mean, you can. The problem with that is it looks like they planned that from the beginning though. Like it, mm -hmm. it fits in. Made well, sense. they 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 filmed it like early because they didn't want the kids to outgrow the the ending. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, um, I mean, you gotta add Te Dexter to this list. Yeah, I was gonna say, where is Dexter, Jay? I didn't even watch yeah, the show, but I, I, I showed up to somebody's watch party for the finale, and I was like... <laughs> yeah, I bet you everybody was pissed. What did I, I was walk laughing, because I was like, I just, I just showed up to be social, and I'm just like... <laughs> that ending was so what bad... Weird that uh, they... crushes and uh, like, lots yeah. of like, interests. <laughs> that ending was so bad that they even tried to retcon Dexter's death all right, and not really retcon. I'm sorry, oh, not retcon. They really show him at the right end there. of it. Yeah, the questionable thing where they show him in the mountains, I guess. But they they started a new series based, you know, off of that whole thing where they changed the ending at the end of it, and it didn't. It failed immediately. That new series. Mm -hmm. So um, that's how bad that finale was because that show was so much st full steam ahead, and then we knew it was ending. They had a clear cut ending, and then I don't know how that finale was their clear cut ending. I mean, it was such a bad story. The entire episode, the entire episode was hot garbage. There wasn't a good like I told you, Battlestar. Battlestar had a good first half. Nothing, nothing in this was good. Nothing. This is a zero out of ten. Zero. Nope. So, anything else, guys? Um, Tony, Corey, Corey. No, you guys mentioned the ones I was gonna say. Mike, one, anything? Finish up. No, I think I think we're all on the man. same page. We're good. All right. That's going to wrap up the movie cast, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah. Once again, we're live Twitch Tuesday nights. Please join us for that. Game yeah, cast let us know next. what your worst endings are. We'd love to hear it from you guys. Yeah, please let yeah. us know. Uh, and then uh, Game Cast coming up. We're going to do this over there. So stay tuned. See you.